first second and fourth terms of proportion are 441 175 and 25 find its third term so they have given that they are in proportion whenever they are in proportion it means two ratios are in a are equal here so let me frame this so they have given the first term so first term is equal to 141 they have given the second term which is equal to 75 and they have given third term which is equal to 25 now we have to find out the fourth term in a proportion you have seen that two numbers will be like in proportion right so you're going to have a two ratios which will be equal so if I frame it it will be like I have written third third term it will be a fourth term here so fourth term is 25 fourth term is 25 we don't know the third term I'm going to assume third term be equal to x now since you have given some proportion proportion means it will be like 141 the first two terms will be in ratio 141 is to 75 and third and fourth term will be in ratio is in proportion with third term is x and fourth term is 25 this is how it's going to look like 141 is to 75 is in proportion with x is to 25 now since they have given its proportion it means we their extreme product of extreme will be same as product of mean that is when you multiply the extreme these two numbers and when you multiply the mean that is 75 and x the product will be same so if i frame it it will be like 141 multiplied by 25 will be equal to 75 multiplied by x so uh, using this we want to find out the x value so i want only the x value i'm going to transpose 75 to the other side so 141 multiplied by 25 divided by 75 is equal to x you can cancel the numbers here i'm going to cancel directly in 25 table you can go with 5 table so 25 ones are 25 threes are 75 cancel 141 and again 3 in 3 table 3 ones are 3 twos are 3 f uh, 4s are 12 so 2 is a remainder that makes the number 21 so 3 7s are 21 so therefore we got the answer here so here, here I have written 2 and it's a 4 47 will get the answer 3 4s are 12 so 47 so therefore we got x value is equal to 47 so if they ask you this type of question if they are in proportion then you have to solve in this way now in this question they have given the third term we have to find out they may ask you that second term you have to find out or fourth term you have to find out but the framing you have to do in the same way whichever term you have to find out assume a variable and then you solve it